lovely to meet you and thank you for joining today. Um, so yes, more than happy to tell you about Tide. So um, Tide, we are the leading business financial platform within the UK. Uh, we were founded in 2015 and we launched in 2017. So uh, we've not actually been running for a, lo a large period of time, but um, in such a short space of time, we've seen some quite incredible success. Um, as it stands today, we have around 500,000 members, which is about 10% of all business banking market share. And our members comprom uh, comprise of uh, a combination of SMEs, so, so small to medium enterprises, but also those that work on a self-employed basis, where it, whether it's as a sole trader, a freelancer, um, we service all of the above. Um, and our mission, it, it's really simple, to be honest, it, it's to help our members save time and money on their financial admin so they can get back to do get back to doing what they love. And, and that's running their business um, because we appreciate the world of financial administration. It can be quite scary territory, especially for those who work for themselves and maybe haven't had to um, handle managing their finances before in a professional capacity. Um, so that's why we've built the platform that we have done to help support our members. Um, we're FSDS protected and we essentially, in a nutshell, provide business current accounts um, but also on top of that, through the Tide platform, people can access a host of features and benefits to help them manage their finances, which we can go into in a little more detail shortly. Um, but that is who we are. And, and ultimately, what we want to do is provide people with a really rich banking experience so that we can help them in their self-employed endeavours. Those are some very impressive uh, numbers and facts. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, what is the partnership between Tide and Urban and what is the reason uh, that we've partnered up uh, with sure. you? Sure. So uh, we at Tide, we recognize, again, like what I said before, that when self-employed, it can be quite a scary experience or, or very, very intimidating. And therefore, we want to help people of all different industries combat the financial admin hurdles. Um, so in doing that, um, our population of members, especially those that work in um, health, wellness and beauty, that's ever increasing. And, and I think people within that particular community are recognising that having access to a platform like a Tide account um, is helping them on their day to day financial admin. Um, so. In light of that and having recognized that, we at Tide wanted to make an effort to further support that community and help to educate that community. Um, so that's why we we approached Urban. Um, we recognize Urban as, I, I guess, a market leader within this respective space, um, someone that's really well renowned within the community. And we wanted to collaborate with Urban to further support their heroes, um, yourself, essentially. Um, and, and in doing that, what we've done is we've formed a partnership where we can work in collaboration to surface Tide to the urban community um, and again, provide the urban community with the tools and resources required to help them manage their finances. Thank you. What are those tools? What are the benefits uh, that the partnership would bring to or will bring to, to our heroes? I'd like, I'd like to say many benefits, Patrick. So <laughs> um, ultimately what we want to do at Tide and, and as a consequence of our partnership is to bring end-to-end -end financial connectivity to, to urban heroes. Um, so we want them to be able to manage their final, financial admin through one seamless journey um, without any hassle or, or to, to take away from their time because ultimately I appreciate all of you are very, very busy people. You're, you're on the go constantly. The last thing you want to be doing is not being able to work because you've got to do your financial admin. Um, so ultimately we at Tide want to support you and make it as smooth and, and seamless as possible. Um, it, it's worth calling out that it's free to open a Tide account first and foremost. So there's no financial ob obligation and that's something that you can access through the partnership. Um, but on top of that as well, you can manage um, your finances all through the app. Uh, it's completely digital. So again, it helps to support your lifestyle. 
um, that's really important. And, and uh, as a result of signing up through um, what we have with Urban is a guest and exclusive partnership link. Um, and if you sign up to Tide using that exclusive partnership link, what you'll do is you'll get a little added bonus as well for saying thank you for signing up. Um, so what we have is a great offer. It's a £50 cashback reward and one year of free transfers if you sign up to Tide through using your Urban link. Um, and ultimately, it just gets back to the bones of what our mission is, um, the benefits of the partnership being that we can help to save you all time and money. Thank you. I just uh, copy pasted the link uh, to to the Tide website where uh, our heroes can uh, sign up. So now you can find that in the chat. Um, and I think maybe I should have started with this question. Uh, but why is it important to have a business bank bank account, or how important it is to to have one for someone who's self employed, or they might have their own limited liability company? Of course. So um, I guess. Firstly, um, for, for anyone that trades um, as a limited company, um, many people don't know this, but it's actually a legal obligation to have a separate business bank account. So you're legally mandated that you have to manage your business finances separately to that of your personal. I believe many of the, many of the people, um, or urban heroes, I should say, um, operate on a self-employed basis. So there's no legal obligation to manage your business finances separately. However, it is considered best practice to manage your business and your personal finances separately, um, because I'm not sure how many of you have, have gone through the motions yet of, let's say, having to file your, your annual tax returns. Um, but they're not, they're not fun. <laughs> From personal experience, they're not enjoyable. Um, so you're making your own lives easier, to be honest, if you do manage your business finances separately. Um, so that's a really key and important thing to call out, because ultimately what it will do is it will help to save you time and money when it gets to tax filing period. Um, and so you can clearly manage what is coming in through your business versus what is personal and you manage against your income and expenditure, etc. Um, also, many banks have um, terms and conditions applied to um, having a, a bank account. I'm sorry, when I say bank account, I mean a personal bank account. So depending on who you bank with, they may actually have stipulations within their terms and conditions that you can't manage your business finances through that personal account. That can differ and vary bank to bank. So I'm not saying it's all of them, but that's also something to consider as well. So ultimately, for those that work on a self-employed basis, it's just simply considered best practice to make your own lives easier. I also want to call out as well, whilst it's not, um, it hasn't come into effect yet, but there's something that, that's um, on the horizon from HMRC called Making Tax Digital. So Making Tax Digital, it has been pushed back and it's not coming into effect until I believe it's April of 2026. So we've got a little bit of time on our hands. But what it essentially means is that anyone who works for themselves, whether self-employed or on a limited company basis, they'll be legally obligated to file digitally submit tax returns on a quarterly basis instead of annually so again like i mentioned earlier filing tax returns not enjoyable and that's once a year so eventually in a couple of years it's going to be on a quarterly basis and um, where you have to declare your income and expenditure um so again what we're keen to do with Urban is to help their heroes get ahead of the curve and start putting the elements of best practice in place now, meaning that when making tax digital does come into effect, granted, it does feel like a long time away, that transition is going to be super seamless for you all. And you're already doing the things that you need to do for when when that happens. Yes, I can confirm that we had a tax webinar earlier this year with an accountant and he was saying the same and as best practice he already recommended to do so. But yeah, he also mentioned that in the future it's going to be obligatory. Yeah. Um, Obviously, there are a lot of banks out there business with uh, offering business bank accounts as well. Um, why should someone uh, use Tide or how is Tide different to the other uh, business bank accounts out there? Yeah. 
So um, I think it's worth calling out that firstly, we can safely say that we are now the largest in the UK, having surpassed the 500,000 member mark, 10% market share. That does officially make us the largest business financial challenger out there in the UK right now. Um, we also like to pride ourselves on the fact that we're the only business financial platform in the UK currently that is purely catered towards servicing sole traders sole traders, self-employed and SMEs. So yes, you do have a lot of other, other big challenging aims out there right now. There's no shying away from them. But what we will say is that they service consumer banking and business banking. So they've spread themselves across, um, I guess, the portfolio of audience, whereas we only cater to small businesses, which makes us unique. It means that we listen to our, so what we've done is we listen to our members and we've curated and tailored a platform specifically designed to what they need to manage their finances successfully. And, and I think that's the key thing about Tide is that we're extremely connected to our members um, and we want to just make their lives easier. And um, so ultimately we've been given the opportunity to now provide a wide range of products and services to our members that can't be found on our competitors' websites because, like I say, we've tailored solutions. Um, and again, another thing, like I called out earlier, it's free to open a Tide account. It's a fully digital-based journey. You can open an account in under 10 minutes and manage your account whilst you're on the go. Again, it's not that straightforward with a lot of others that are out there currently. Um, We've actually heard some horror stories. I won't name names, but your traditional high street banks, small businesses trying to open an account with them. It can take months um, because I don't even know the reasons why. I guess archaic ways of, of, of the way in which they operate, it just makes it really difficult. Um, whereas that's not the case with us. Like I say, we've designed our platform for the small business community to make that onboarding experience super slick and seamless um, and I think that's the biggest call out in my eyes as to why we're different. I see if we are talking about onboarding um, what is the what does the onboarding process look like and what are the documents that someone uh, would need if they if they wanted to sign up with you? Yep so um, again call me biased but I, I'd like to think that our onboarding journey is, is super slick so like I mentioned, I think it's just under 70% of our members have been able to open an account in under 10 minutes, which is, is incredible. And the reason why or how they've been able to do that is because it's a fully digital based onboarding journey. So you can sign up for Tide um, either through a desktop initially, but then ultimately through your mobile phone. So provided that you've got a mobile phone and can download the Tide app, you can apply for an account. In terms of the documentation itself, so we will have to verify who you, who you are. Um, we need to make sure you are who you say you are. So in order to do that, as part of that onboarding experience, we will ask you for certain documentation to verify your identity. So that documentation is typically in the form of um, a, a driving license, um, a passport, um, European national ID cards, um, that kind of thing. Um, and, and ultimately, that should be enough to, to allow you to open a Tide account. In some occasions, um, applicants may fall into what's called our KYC process or a manual KYC process. And that just simply means we just need to get a little bit more information from you. So what will happen is our manual KYC team, if they need to speak to you, will engage with you through the Tide app and simply ask you for a bit more information. For example, do you have a social media presence to promote your business? If so, could you send us the link to your social media account for your business? Or do you have a HMRC um, tax letter towards your business? Could you share that with us? Again, something to further just to help verify your business operation. Um, but it's super straightforward and, and hopefully wouldn't come as any surprises to anyone. But what we do have in place is um, a bespoke onboarding support number. Um, so we can look to share this after this webinar. But let's say if someone does need a little more support to open their Tide account, or they just simply like to speak to someone on the other end of the phone, because let's face it, sometimes people prefer that route. Um, we have a number that you can call, and that's actually prioritized within Tide. So if you call that number, it will help you get through to someone at the other end of the phone far quicker than calling our generic number. Um, 
and really in a nutshell that that is it um what are the things to call out about the onboarding journey um i think another key call out are the no credit checks so um with some banks they will perform credit checks uh when people apply that's not something that we do here at tide so hopefully that will um appease people given it won't imprint on your credit file does that mean that it's easy for someone who's just starting their journey as a self-employed therapist to, to sign up yeah that's exactly what it's designed for patrick so um because we recognize that many people that are signing up to tide are in their infancy of starting their business and we don't want to create hurdles we want to bring solutions and make it as seamless as possible so yes in essence people just starting out can apply for a tide account like you say provided that they've got that some uh, uh id that they can we can use to verify who they are and potentially a little bit of something else, which we might need if it falls into KYC, it should be super straightforward for anyone to apply for a tight account. That sounds amazing. Um, and when you mentioned like less than 10 minutes, I wish our onboarding process could be that quick as well <laughs> and probably our therapists as well. Well, we, um, we, we, pride, we pride ourselves on it, to be fair. There's a lot of effort that's gone into um our onboarding journey testing the application form to make sure it, it works for, for all of you so um but we're always open to the feedback as well if there is any that's great if someone signs up so they become a member uh with you what are the features and what are the benefits uh that they can uh access yeah so essentially um we want to consider ourselves as the the one-stop shop for your financial services needs um so yes you can access a current account through the tide platform that is the bones of who we are and what we do but the key usp about tide like i said at the start is that you can unlock all the features and benefits that come along with having a tide account via the platform that you'll get access to um, so within the platform tools and benefits such as the fact that you can manage invoices create, send and manage them. So one of the biggest reasons a lot of businesses go to the wall is because of unpaid invoices. People aren't paying them. So you've got the ability through the Tide app that you can manage that invoicing process and send chases, send reminders to ensure that you get paid. Um, there's the ability to take photos of your receipts uh, using the Tide app. And then what the Tide app does is through some magical way, it captures the information from the receipt that you've taken a photo of and it will automatically categorize the detail from that receipt into the Tide app. So you can nicely categorize your in, uh, income and expenditure. So um, gone are the days where you have to store your year's worth of receipts in a Tupperware box and, and pull it out when it comes to tax filing period. You don't have to do that anymore. You can go to a supplier, you can buy some stock, you can take a photo of your receipt and it's saved within the Tide app. Save, again, saving you time further down the line instead of manually having to enter it into a system. Um, we also have things like accountancy integrations. Um, so if you do have an, if you do currently have an account with an accountancy based software, let's say Sage or Xero, um, QuickBooks, we can integrate the Tide platform with those accountancy softwares. So it can pull all the information from the Tide account into those accountancy softwares. Um, on top of that, we have the ability to issue expense cards. Um, there's multiple member perks and discounts that people can access. You can automate your payments through the Tide account. I mean, the list is is ultimately endless in terms of what you can get out of the Tide account. Um, but that is a, is a high level summary of some of the features and benefits. Again, all just designed to make your lives easier. Oh, that sounds perfect to me. Um... Do you have any exciting announcements or product launches that will happen in the near future? Yeah, so um, I mentioned um, accounting softwares earlier, um, but we are actually soon to launch our own uh, accounting solution called Tide Accounting. Thought we'd get creative with the name. <laughs> um, it's actually a, a white label product um, from Sage. Um, but it's, it's a super exciting product and um, something that people will be able to manage through the Tide app as well, um, which is really exciting. Again, becoming that one stop shop for people. And um, it has actually launched. It's in a soft launch phase at the moment and um, gradually rolling out to more and more audiences and members. But that's something that our members can access if they want to access the Tide account. And there is a little bit of an offer on there as well. I can't quite 
I don't want to quote the exact date, but if you did open a, um, if you did sign up to Tide Accounting as well, you do get a little bit of free usage out of it before you're expected to start paying subscriptions, which is quite cool. Um, on top of that as well, we're soon to launch savings accounts. Um, so that is scheduled for Q4 of this year, meaning that people can open a savings account with Tide and start to generate some interest off the back of the savings that they have in place. Um, we're also looking at launching our own Tide labeled cost solutions, um, so payment terminals, essentially. Again, I imagine something that many of your heroes at Urban will potentially have in place or need as they're setting up their small business is a way to accept payments from clients. So watch this space because we're soon to launch something within that particular area. And we might have some good deals on the cards as well that we can share with you all. Um, and then last but not least, I guess it's more about our expansion plans. So piggybacking off the success we've seen in the UK, of course, we want to replicate that elsewhere. So we have recently launched in India, um, which is a, is a huge opportunity for us. And, and that launch is going very well. And then we've got plans at the back end of this year to launch in Germany. Don't know if I was meant to say the country, but Germany and um, elsewhere in Europe uh, in 2024. So lots of things on the cards for us here at Tide. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, please come to Spain as well, because I want to sign up with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put in a good word for you. <laughs> and also one of the, I think, one of the accounting apps that you mentioned, I think, for example, they can track their mileages there. So if anyone is, for example, driving to their appointments, they can track the, the petrol. And then if it's integrated, then you can easily pull through, like, what were your expenses, uh, how much you can deduct from your taxes. Um I don't really have any more questions, but I'm sure that some of our heroes will have some better questions than I uh, had. <laughs> so if anyone has any questions, we haven't answered something, then please just go ahead and mute yourself uh, and then ask Chloe. Actually, you don't have any. I did have some, but you answered them. So <laughs> thanks. Oh. <laughs> well, but, well, my pleasure, and I'm pleased to hear it. And 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 likewise, look, if uh, my email's not sensitive, if anyone does have any questions, you're more than welcome to drop me an email. Or or likewise as well, um, the onboarding support number which we can share. So if you are ever tempted to open an account with Tide, I'd recommend you use the link that Patrick has shared so you can get the incentive. But there's a number you can call as well should you have any extra questions. Oh, well, thank you. Great, then. If no one else has any questions, uh, I'm sure that we are going to send out some follow-up communication uh, about the webinar. I think there is actually one question in the chat uh, from Rachel. Um, how much money do you have to put into your account to open it? Yes, great question. So theoretically, you can open an account with Tide and you don't have to put any money in it. Um, I guess it defies the purpose a little bit in terms of we want to encourage you to use your Tide account. Um, if you mean specifically about how do you unlock the incentive, then in terms of open, uh, in terms of getting the fifty pound cashback reward, uh, what we ask is when people open a Tide account, they deposit fifty pounds in the account within the first thirty days to unlock the additional fifty pounds. You don't necessarily have to spend it but just deposit it in the account uh, to release that £50 cash back. Thank you for that. Uh, anyone else? A last call for a last question? <laughs> any more for any more. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Rachel. Okay, then if there aren't any more questions, then thank you very much for your time. Thanks for joining in. Uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed the webinar and you learned a lot from Chloe. Uh, I'm sure I did. Um, and then, yeah, we are going to send out some follow-up communications. And if you have any questions, either come to us or come to Chloe or call the number uh, that you mentioned. We are going to uh, send it around. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you all. Take care. Have a lovely Bye. day. Bye.